You can use VS Code's refactor preview to preview the changes that will be made when you use F2 to rename a symbol. Say that I wanted to rename the get code actions function here. To start, I'm just going to place my cursor on it and then press F2 to actually start the rename. And now it's asking me for a new name. So let's just say get code actions 2. Now, if I press enter, it will actually go and perform the rename. But if I want to instead preview the changes that will be made, I can hold down shift and enter. So I'm going to say shift enter. And now I get this nice refactor preview UI down here in the panel. Now, this is listing out all the files that are going to be affected, as well as all of the locations within those files that are going to be affected as well. So I can just browse through the entire list. If I want to see some more detail, I can actually just click on one of these entries, and then it'll go and open a diff view of that file there. So that's a preview of the changes. So I can just browse through the entire list here and make sure that what I expect is actually being renamed. Now, this is not only a preview, it is actually interactive as well. So you can go through this list and actually select which rename locations should be included in the rename and which ones should be excluded. So as I'm browsing through this list, you'll notice that all of the entries currently are checked, which means that they will be renamed when I accept the refactoring. But if I wanted to exclude some of these files, let's say I wanted to exclude this test file, for example, I can just uncheck it. I can uncheck individual refactorings as well, such as this one. And when I do that, when I actually apply the rename using the check mark here, those locations will not be renamed. So once everything is looking good, I'm going to go apply the refactoring with the check mark. And now VS Code has gone and performed the refactoring, and it has correctly excluded the locations that I did not check. So that's VS Code's refactor preview. It can be especially helpful when dealing with larger refactorings or in a language like C++, where you might want to select which refactoring locations are applied and which ones are excluded.